Hey everyone, it's Connor from Coifin here. Someone recently asked me how they can quickly identify stocks trading near their 52 week highs or lows. So today I'm gonna to walk you through how you can do that quickly in three different ways using Coifin. We're gonna be looking at watch lists, market scatters and screeners. So the first quickest way is the market scatter tool, which over on the left-hand side here under the analytics tab, you'll find it. So we'll go ahead and open that up. And what this is gonna show you is a market scatter chart on the left-hand side where you can express the relationship between those two variables on an X and Y basis. Currently, we have it set up to show price to earnings and dividend yield. On the right-hand side here, we've got an itemized version of that in a table. You can sort this data, you can download it, you can share it, and you can also change the view layout as well. And down here on the bottom, you have all the annotation tools that you might be accustomed to in Coifin charting as well. There's really two core components to this. Number one is you have to set your axes and number two, you have to set your investment universe. So here, like in most places in Coifin, you can pick an indice and it will suck out all of the constituents. You can do the same for an ETF as well. So if I was to pick the energy sector ETF, it would just populate that with those companies or alternatively, you can use a watch list. So if you have a basket of companies in the FTSE 100, for example, in a watch list, you can pull in those companies. We'll keep things simple and keep it with the S&P 500 for now. And we'll go up to these axis variables. So I'm gonna click on this one and Similar to other areas of Coifin, you have the full library available to you. In the popular section, we have this data, but you will find 52 week high data in the market data. So what we wanna show here is the range between the high and the low. So we're gonna click below 52 week high percentage on the X axis. On the Y axis, we're gonna choose above the 52 week low. And now we have that quickly expressed. We can see the outliers, we can see the ones down there and in the data table as well, we can sort this so that we can see which ones are in closer proximity to the 50 week high. So right now at the time of recording, we can see JP Morgan, we can see American Express, Citigroup. You can download this information as well and you can do a lot of interesting things. For me, I like to look at how many companies are within 5% or 10% and calculate that over time. And if you want to hone in on a specific group, you also have the option to refine your axis here as well. So if I go to the axis settings, you can change the ranges. So if I come to below 52 week high, for example, and I change the minimum to below 10%, now in this bucket of companies, I'm only seeing companies that are within 10% of the 52 week high. So market scatter is a very quick way if you already know your investment universe that you want to search through. The screener is another quick way as well. So if we hop over to the screener tool here and we'll go ahead and create a brand new one from scratch. The first thing you have to do with the screener is identify your investment universe. So you can pick regions or specific countries. You can also add a bunch of other things like descriptors or exchanges, industries, sectors in there as well. For now, we'll just keep it United States and Canada. In a similar fashion to the market scatter, but you just have a broader universe here, you can go ahead and add filter criteria. So we would find that in the market data, but we can go ahead and look at below 52 Kai. If we click that, we now get a range to choose from. And if you want to filter on stocks that are within 10%, we can just come in here and set the minimum range to 10. And we go from 5,400 to 1,800. If we wanted to refine that further still, we could come to the investment universe criteria. We can go to ETF constituents, for example, and just choose S&P 500 companies. And we can see that now from a total choice of 497, we have 292 matches. Now let's say we wanna refine that even further. We can come back to the data picker and we can search for above 52 week low. And we might want the range there to be a minimum of 90%. So now we have 16 matches. We can go ahead and create that screen if we want to. Alternatively, we could loosen the parameters for 52 week low come back into the data picker. We can choose from a bunch of different technical indicators or other parameters that you want to add to the screen. And when you're happy with it, you can create the screen. And similar to the market scatter table, you can sort this as well. So if we sort by the highest, we can see Blue Lemon in there, Marriott International. We can search through and add additional columns to this as well. If you want to add gross margins or fundamental data, we can do that as well. And lastly, if you want to save this as a watch list, you have the choice to do that too. Alternatively, if you have a view that you like looking at, such as this multiples view in a different watch list, you can go ahead and import those views. And now you have all of that data readily at hand.
And the last one we talked about was watch list. So if you already have an investment universe in a watch list, this one, for example, is just all of the S&P constituents. You might have 100 stocks in a particular sector that you're watching. It might be a basket of portfolio companies. Whatever it is, you can do a similar thing in the watch list as well. So for the purpose of this, we're going to go ahead and create a new view for this. So we'll go up here to our views and we'll create a new one. And we'll call this 52 week highs and lows. Similar, similarly, we can go into the column picker again and we can choose from this range of data. We've got above 52 week low here, below 52 week high. There's a number of other options you have here as well that you can choose from. An easy way to identify them all is just typing 52 into the search bar and you can see all of this data here. So you might want to show the notional value of the 52 week high and the 52 week low. You might want to show the dates as well. And you might want to show the notional value of the range between the 52 week high and low too. So when you've picked all the data points that you want, you can choose additional ones as well. You can sort this table to look a bit more legible. Perhaps something like this. You can order it in whatever way you want, add additional details. But that's how you can quickly pull in a watch list like this. And again, you can sort this data to show you the ranges too by clicking the column header. And once you've created this view for one watch list, you can go into another watch list and import this very same view. So that just about does it. I hope that helps and addresses the question. This is one that we get quite often, so I thought I'd make a video about it. As always, you're welcome to drop a comment below. You can reach out to us at Coifin Charts over on Twitter, and you can also drop in an email to the help desk, which is help at coifin.com. Thank you.